everyone. How are you doing? Good evening. Hi, Sofia. Good evening. Claudia, great to see you. Hi, Raul. Good evening. Thank That's you so much for joining. I see Irving too. Uh, Fernando's Dory. Joshua, good evening. How you doing? Hi, good evening. hi, hi, guys. How are you? How was your day? Did you have a good day? Good day, but tired. <laughs> <laughs> so it was good, but a little bit tiring. Okay, okay. But the good thing is that it's fine. You know, so it's Tuesday already, time flies. And I guess that is something positive. So thank you guys. Thank you so much for joining like super early. I'm glad to see you here, especially because we are going to be uh, working today with unit number four. And we have like some speaking activities uh, like we are gonna be practicing today. So um, yesterday, if you remember, we were practicing a little bit of um, pronunciation and also intonation. And one of the activities that we completed by the end of the class was a little debate. So we had to uh, like put into practice um, intonation uh, of the most important words, emphasis, right? In the most important words of your sentence. So we are going to be checking this. We are going to be like sharing some ideas because I know that yesterday we didn't have enough time, right? To share some ideas, to practice, to talk. Um, so we are gonna be doing this. And also we are going to take advantage of the time. And in the second part of the class, we are going to be practicing uh, tenses. So we are going to practice uh, like a little bit of contrast between present, uh, simple past, and future tenses, right? So I hope you're ready. I hope you're ready to practice because today is gonna be just speaking guys. So we're gonna be speaking as much as we can. I guess I got all of you yesterday. Let me see. Um, so Cody's is here, Fernando. Yeah, I saw you. Monica, good evening. I see Sarah either. So thanks a lot for joining. Maria, thank you, Jasmine. All right, uh, yeah, I think I got you. Okay, so give me just a second. Uh, before we get started, guys, with the topic for today, I saw that in the group, some of you are still having issues with some exercises. So I saw first that the workaround worked, right? So the copy and paste thing worked in most of the exercises. So probably was the apostrophe. There is one exercise, one specific exercise where you see the word a uh, good. I think somebody mentioned yesterday that is a spelling error in the platform. It is. It looks like God, right? So uh, don't worry about it. I have already reported this exercise. So hopefully they are going to fix it. But um, is there any other exercise that is giving you some problems? Hi, Anna. Good evening. How are you uh, doing? Hi. Great. That's nice to hear. Guys, um, so we, we are just like checking some exercises that can be giving you some issues with the platform. So are you having any difficulty? No. Eh, difficulty te eh, técnica, ya oh, todo. It's good. So everything okay. is solid. Okay. What about the rest of you guys? Is everything good as well? Uh, doesn't complete. It is complete. Elvis? Yes. Mm, no, I didn't finish, but I uh, process. Oh, okay. 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 Uh -huh. Um, also, I remember that Monica, if I'm not mistaken, was uh, mentioned something about the final exam. I already reported this, so I'm just hoping uh, support can give us an answer, right? So yes, uh, be patient. Hopefully, by the end of the week, we can have uh, the answer from support, and and you know that can be fixed. Um, anybody else is having issues with the platform? 
Francisco, are you good? Krisha, are you fine? Uh, Adrian, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi. Uh, is everything good with the platform? Are you having any difficulty? I have a problem with the section three. Three. Um, is it 3.4? 3.6. 3.6. Give me one second because probably somebody else is having the same problem. Okay, um, so 3.6, let me check this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Give me one sec, 3.6, 3.6. Uh, oh, carnival time. What, what is the problem you're having with the exercise? Uh, when I answer, mm -hmm. the platform, uh, uh, me responde como que no, todas están malas. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do me a favor. Uh, take, take a picture. Take a picture and send it to me. Uh, because in that exercise, you had to write a uh, complete answers, like it is, you know, and, and the whole thing. So sometimes because you are not including it is, the platform takes it as incorrect. So probably your answers are okay, but maybe the structure is not complete. So take a picture, please send it to me and I will be checking that. Uh, because so I can know exactly what the problem is. Uh, anybody else is having problems with the 3.6 or in the in the exercise number four or five? No. Okay. So guys, if you have like any specific issue, uh, send it to me, right? Or send it in the group. The guys from um, from support. They are taking care of it, so they are working on it. So just be a little patient with us. And so guys, we are going to get started today reviewing the topic from yesterday, right? Um, yesterday, we were having like a little debate. There were some questions, right, that we were going to discuss. And so we can practice everything we checked in the videos right with stress intonation and also we can practice a little bit of a structure as well so these are the topics that we had from yesterday um some groups were discussing for example holidays are a waste of time i think marriage is outdated uh, people should oh i didn't correct this sorry people should travel instead of celebrating weddings um some of you were in favor of this topic, right? And some of you were against. So we are going to be like checking um, your answers so we can practice everything, intonation, contrast, and in, in sentence structure. So do you remember your group? Do you remember your topic, guys? Uh uh, teacher, I'm sorry. The no, uh, no will be for the last topics. The last topic no, was, for example, about the uh, free days. What do you mean? Uh, so, que el debate era sobre los últimos temas que nos había dado de los días libres, si se tenían que gastar, si se tenían yes. que ver días libres o no tenían que ver días libres. Exactly. Um, yesterday, the time was really uh -huh. limited. I gave you like around five minutes. Uh -huh. These okay. were the topics. Yes, I'm exactly. Sorry. So we I are didn't... going to, <laughs> oh, no, it's okay. So we are going to be like, I'm going to give you some more minutes today so you can finish setting up the debate, right? And then you can convince us. Because for example, with the first group holidays at a waste of time, it was really hard yesterday. Me. <laughs> because, yeah, right, because everybody was like, yeah, we need holidays, we need more time off. So if you are against, 
Well, can you just Josue, say, Cody, what we do? Uh -huh, exactly. So we're going to be, we're going to check first if you have more ideas, okay? If you could think about more things. And if not, guys, invent them. So the idea is just to practice, okay? Um, I'm going to invite you guys uh, to the groups, but we are going to do something different today. Topic number one is holidays, right? Topic number two is about marriage. And topic number three is about weddings. I'm going to send you the invitation right now, but if you check, you can select one, two, or three. So let's go to the groups according to the number, according to the topic you had yesterday. If your topic was number one, so please go to a room number one. So holidays. If your topic was the second, I think marriage is outdated, go to the second part. So you selected, please. You selected, guys. So seleccione su, su sala, select your room. The first, the second, okay. or the third. And si no nos pudieron acompañar el día de ayer, that's totally fine. Siéntanse libertad de escoger cualquiera. You can choose any okay. of them. Uh -huh, the one that you think it's uh, cooler or the one you can, you have a lot of ideas about. Um, okay, I see some of you already selected that. Guys, what about the rest? Eh, ¿Logran ver las salas? Can you see them? No. No? Where, the, where is the, no. the room? No, I'll teach you. I can't see. <clears throat> okay, okay, okay. So, Go please um, in your, all right, the guys are going. So if you are in your cell phone, les va a aparecer un cuadrito. You're gonna have like a little square on top that is top left. Y ustedes cogen la sala. If you are in the computer, les aparece en la parte de abajo donde dice grupos reducidos or break a rooms, if you have it in English. Pero no les va a aparecer yes. dónde. Ustedes yes. deben escoger. Ah, break a room. The yeah. first. Uh -huh. first room. You have to select. Exactly. Yeah. So, si el tema click, de ayer click. was holidays, room number one. If the, yes, mm -hmm. if the topic from yesterday was, I think marriage is outdated, room number two. And if it is people should celebrate weddings, room number three. So, ustedes lo seleccionan. You select it. So, guys, yeah. let's go. Uh -huh. yeah. so let's go there. Yeah. The I don't know, touch and select breaking room. Exactly. So you, you click on, on break up rooms and you select it. Mm -hmm. okay. Ahora va a ser Manuel. You have to do it. Yes. Okay. Si alguien tiene dificultades, no la encuentra, let me know para poder asignarlo. So I can send you. Ah, very nice. Most of you got it. Alguien no lo encuentra, guys? Uh, can you see that in the computer? I can see. Okay, Joshua, what was your topic? Uh, number one. Number one. Um, no worries. I'm sending you there. There okay, you go. Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Anybody else? Alguien más no lo encuentra? You cannot find it. Adrian, Enrique, Francisco. Do you see your room? Sure. Yes, Francisco. Uh uh, no, no teacher. Okay, uh, Francisco, what, what, what was your topic? Um, holidays. Okay, I'm sending you there, no problem. Uh, Enrique, what was your topic? Teacher, good evening. Hi, good evening. I come late be because I was in other class. Oh. In oh, okay, no worries, That that is fine, that's totally fine. So, um, yes. My topic was holidays are a waste of time. Okay, nice. I'm sending you to the group. There you go.
respect, to be respect or ridiculous. Uh, so that the woman has that influence, you know, how to, that. how to the man, uh, the other see at his husband, you no, know, that's influence. And the other is a very interesting says, uh, it's very interesting that lovers, when we are, when we are, uh, uh, novios, how do you say novios? When we are couple, maybe. Ah, uh, couples, or so. Or, yes, when we are, we are when we are, when in we our are relationship? not. Huh? In our relationship. Yes, in, a, in in when we have a relationship, but it's. It, it, how do you say noviazgo, teacher? There is not a specific word for that, but relationship is fine. So you can say we have a relationship or but, you can use the word dating. So when you are dating. Yeah, uh, when mm -hmm. we are dating, but when we are dating, uh, it says lovers before to know each other, is very easy. It's very is is simple. All is uh, um, all is fine, and you see at the other person very nice. But the problem is when the people after marriage, you know, really when you you become to to live with the other person. You really know how is the other person is, no, and uh, and the and that is really you know what the other person when you live with them, so uh, in the marriage, no, and and it's uh, interesting to know that uh, I don't know how do you say that, but in Spanish is. Amarse antes de conocerse es muy sencillo. El problema radica en amarse después de conocerse. So it's a, it, I have, I, I told that I have a, I have a book, a superation book. So, or, or the other phrases, the other phrases says here is, uh, when two people love, we really love them, really love each other, the life is very, <clears throat> is very nice. And the only, and the only, when they really love, and the only can separate is the death. Yes, Mauricio, yeah. but I'm in favor to the marriages outdated. Of, of uh -huh. um, because you have yeah. more time to spend yourself, um you can enjoy your free time with a lot of friends if you have <laughs> of course yeah and uh -huh. uh, if, if you know at this time uh, you don't want to know with a in a in a relation into relationship with others and for that i think that the marriage is outdated um, yeah. you have a favor <clears throat> Sorry. You are a favor to be married. Well, I understood that uh, Claudia said that she is not. She said mm -hmm. that uh -huh. uh -huh. she... like marriage is outdated and you need time for yourself. No, no but I, uh, I, I'm confused. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I, I have a cough. Um, Mauricio, Claudia, I don't know if Jasmine and I we we are favored to get married, right? <clears throat> yeah, you don't right. need to get married for be happy with the other person. <laughs> no, Claudia, but you are in a favor, so you you need to say uh, good things uh, to get married. <clears throat> no, I, I would say that maybe she is uh, in favor of the of the sentence. Marriage is outdated, I guess. Probably, okay. probably yes. there has been yes. a little confusion, uh -huh. but but it's yeah. fine. Okay. I mean, it, it's fine. Uh -huh. No problem. 
So if you are in favor of marriage, it's okay. So you can give us your ideas too. You, yeah. You, you know, it is it is uh, for the for the uh, young people or a lot of people. Well, I know I know a lot of people that they are happy with not marriage. It's they yeah. live honeymoon for for much days that uh, that for three days i think i prefer yes, traveling it, okay. eight days that than three days <laughs> when okay. the normal tradition you, know. you can reduce cost when you organize organize a, a wedding you can reduce and uh, inviting only your your uh, family. Uh, but it's a tradition, and you can back to work. Uh huh. So three days, it's okay. So you could, you can spend less money and reduce the cost of the wedding. Maybe the dress you can buy a cheap dress or I don't know something like that. Maybe it's not so expensive. You can uh, travel more days, or you can go to another place. The second no. hand, you know. Huh? You can go. To you can go to buy to the second hand and reduce the cost. Yes, <laughs> it's a good idea too. <laughs> All is about reduce the cost for the wedding or for, or for the, <laughs> the honeymoon. The party, the party is for an invitation, for, for, for inviting. How do you say invitados for invited? Uh, guesses? No. Ah, yes, sorry, teacher. Uh, it's for okay. the guests. It's fine. The, uh -huh. the party is for the guests. Yes. Guests. Guests. Oh, That's guests. a super valid point. <laughs> yes. So I like we that. that. Everything we is about the number of the guest classes. <laughs> okay. What I, about the rest of you? I have, I, I have other sentence with, with opposite. Uh, okay. Very people uh, work hard in your business and emprendedores. How do you say? How do you say emprendedores? Entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. You can call them like entrepreneurs. Uh huh. Can you write, please? Yeah, sure. Um, I'm writing this down. Give me one sec. Those are entrepreneurs. Wait. Wait. My enter. Okay, there you go. Entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. I never hear this sentence. New for me. Uh, and I, I know friends that uh, he have in, in, in the hell, just work, 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 and never be with the family, with travel, uh, your, just your business. Uh, and I think that uh, they people don't want and don't have time to to travel, but ready, if, for travel. Talk, uh, uh, yes. Yes, I know uh, many people like that. So, if you love your family, I think it's important to invite or to celebrate in
Thank you guys. Uh, thanks a lot for coming back. I guess everybody is back. Yes, okay. So um, we were like discussing these topics. Um, it was very interesting to listen to like your different points of view. And uh, let's do this because the idea is to, you know, have everybody participate and uh, and of course to listen to other opinion right so to listen to what your classmates have to say about this topic so the first one let's go with the first that says holidays are a waste of time um let me just select some people from group number one so for example i couldn't listen from group number one to chrisia so chrisia tell us something about this topic are you in favor are you against and what can you tell us about holidays i think this is here you go okay <laughs> uh, holidays is uh, are the best day of the year but when holidays are on saturday or or, or or Sunday, there are ways of time because it's most interesting or fun when our, when holidays are on Monday to Friday because you can rest. Okay. Yeah, that's that that's is, a, that is that's a really good point i have never thought about it but yeah like when you have the weekend i mean when you have a, a holiday during the week you have like extra time off <laughs> yeah yes. so they are they are a blessing definitely okay guys who is against holidays who think that uh, holidays are a waste of time teacher yeah i think uh, people are against the holiday Mm -hmm. uh, could be only the business owner, not the employer. Okay, why? Because uh, they lost money mm -hmm. when when the workers are are in holiday and day off. They are are losing money. Okay, so the only ones can be the like employers or business owners okay anybody else i think to, to be against this topic is really difficult <laughs> to say that you agree with holidays are a waste of time is really hard i guess i think um, huh? <laughs> uh, that when you die <laughs> the company is hire someone else and that's it <laughs> they forget about you oh, they okay. have all the employ and you Okay, you forget it. So uh, this is important to spend time with the family in a special days or days off. Uh, it's important for recharge. Okay, for continue that's working. Good. Yeah, it's, it's important. And so, and sometimes, for example, in El Salvador have uh, more days off than other countries. That's right. But, but in other countries, the people do not work more than, for example, four hours in the week. Mm -hmm. That is the maximum. Mm -hmm. But here, as some people work, for example, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and all the week, and includes Saturday. Yeah, that's right. In some cases. Okay, so we do have more holidays. Okay, but we work more. Yes, Mauricio. Yeah. Uh... I was thinking about that, that, for example, let me see how, okay. Uh, Note that right now, there is, um, uh, there is a, a movement, a movement in Europe, or there is a lot of company in Europe that they are working mm -hmm. the, the sun Monday to, Monday to Thursday, mm -hmm. and they have a holiday Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Three, three days. days. Uh -huh. oh, only okay. three. Uh huh. 
no two and three days off oh friday nice. saturday and sunday there I, is a i think i heard is, about uh, it I don't huh? remember the country. I don't remember the country, but I remember like in France. I, I think in France or some in the in the countries very they are very developed and the people are yes. not too not too over population. They have very uh Dinamarca. Have, yeah, like, I think so. I'm not sure if that was Switzerland, Netherlands or um what was the other country or belgium but one of the countries they already have three days off uh -huh. so they only work four days which is amazing and they are more productive so yes but I'm you know, with so that, that i think it's very interesting yes Enrique? uh-huh what about all with countries uh, i'm sorry this is a uh, for example switzerland mm -hmm. germany Australia and Netherlands. So they, they have this change. They yes. only work for days. Yes. Oh, amazing. But the thing also, remember that is something cultural, you know. So in our country, we Salvadorian, um, we are hardworking people, but our culture is different. So who knows? Maybe in the future that can happen. Um, until we don't try it, we will never know. But that, that sounds fine. All right, guys, let's go with the second topic we have here. I think marriage is outdated. Ooh, that's kind of hard, I guess. But let's see if we can get some people there. Uh, group number two. Who hasn't I heard? Um, Noemi, what do you think about this? So do you agree with this? Is marriage outdated or not? Um. I believe that marriage is not updated. I think um, all the reason that has been there throughout the history for getting married are updated. Okay, that's a really nice point. Anybody else who would say, yeah, who thinks that marriage is outdated? Or who, you know, is in favor of marriage? We are in favor of marriage. So you're in favor I, of marriage? I am in favor of marriage. Uh, okay, uh -huh. okay. Why? Why? Because you have a, when you have a good relation with the, with your uh, uh, other, uh, with, the, with the other person, uh, and you have goals, you have objects, in your life, uh, well, the object and the goals are came came with you have children. The childrens the childrens have a unit uh, uh, join your relationship. No, sometimes sometimes not, but uh, most of the time uh, the childrens unit your relation and you have a goals with them. So uh, that's the that's my point it's it's a it's a and you um you walk for your life mm -hmm. in a good in 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 a i don't know how to say that but you have object and and goals for in that reason no and okay. and the in, in the marriage it's a a can help you and okay. do that no oh, all right all right so marriage is necessary and you can set goals with your couple yes sofia tell us ha ha oh my god get <laughs> ready for sofia sofia now <laughs> just kidding tell us miss <laughs> what, do, what are your opinions sofia tell us tell us sofia we want to listen to yours it's, it's important because mm -hmm. help to the relation, um, um, I don't know, if you don't like to marry, it's because you don't want to have children. And that is, is the reason all the people marry, I guess, because one, he wants to 
to have babies. Uh, family. Uh, family. So you need to marry because you want so, so you, a family. So you are in favor. I am a favor. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Okay. That's all right. Yes, Monica, tell us. Uh, I think the the marriage is not the way they be updated. I think it's the way that we think the marriage is to do it. For example, for me, now that I have my fiance, mi prometida, no who say that. Yes, your fiance is fine. We, like a couple, we think that is the moment exactly to get married because we spend our time around three years. We have a baby. Mm -hmm. We live many things in a relationship, bad and good, and we are in the position that, okay, it's time to get married. No, it's a, like the big thing because... Many people more in El Salvador say, ah, but you leave the, the part of get married, but do you only have the, the ring? But it's not like that because we need to have, uh, like we talked the, the other day, a good stability. We, you need to have emotional stability to give the big, the big decision. Mm -hmm. And I think the, the way that we think that the men need to take the decision is the way that are updated for me, because no, the men are going to take only the decision for us, like a woman. We need to, it's a very important a moment in our life, like a couple, for me talking like my family. So I think that is my point. Get married is not outdated. The thing that we normally uh, are accustomed by that the, the men need to take the decision. And you, you know that, get, I don't know who said to be pura, like, like the Salvador, you know that the old tradition, the religion tradition, I okay. think that is, that is the updated for me. Oh, okay. So traditions and beliefs. So those are updated. About yeah. virgins. All right. So beliefs. Mm, although I think that our society is more open, it's a little yeah. bit more open minded. Mm -hmm. no, yeah. It's not like that anymore. It is changing. Probably no, but not even in the countryside, right? I think that it is different. Yes, Sophia, tell us. Yeah. I think it's, oblig it's an obligation if you have children with your couple, get married. Because it's an obligation. No, for me, it's an obligation. Oh my goodness. Okay. To have five oh, okay, this is getting interesting. <laughs> okay, I heard somebody me? saying, oh my goodness. <laughs> so I guess your me? idea is different from Sophia. I'm Sophia's. worried for this thing, Miss. <laughs> <laughs> okay so all right but but that is really interesting sofia made a point there guys just tell us uh enrique i see your hand up teacher i think i disagree with, with sofia oh okay the point of the, is the marriage is not obligation okay uh, it sounds so bad i i think uh the marriage is, uh, is a it's a very important um, uh, in the life. I know okay. it's not, but it's not necessary to, for example, to to have children. Uh, I know couples uh, in a free relationship okay. that have the your uh, uh, home home have mm -hmm. the home and work uh, Help, uh, help, 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 but, 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 but people help in the, in the homework, homework, in the. Like in the household chore. Okay. Yes. They, they help uh, in the but house. Not, but uh, they are not uh, in marriage. They have oh. a, a relationship. Oh, okay. So maybe they are living cohabitation, right? Okay. Or they are just in a free but union. Prefer. Okay. I really like but this, you know, uh, everybody has a different point and this is why uh, a debate gets interesting because everybody has an opinion, right? So the idea is just to share and guys, I want to listen to most of you 
So I am, I am still, I haven't listened to some of your voices. I don't know if it's because you are waiting <laughs> okay, uh, for the others to pull the hair or something. <laughs> okay, but I want to listen to the rest as well. Yes, Sofia, tell us. And then we move to the next topic. Sorry, teacher. It's um, fine. I mean, to say uh, something that my father say me. Uh, before to death mm, and niña casate me decía pues, yo no he criado en English means <laughs> no uh, you can do it yes you can do it okay. your father told you to get married little child get married uh -huh. he criado una cualquiera me dijo. oh uh, why okay. Okay. okay, all right. <laughs> okay, um, I'm going to write I'm a word. My point. I'm gonna write in the in the chat one word that I think was very common with our society. That is chauvinism, right? So chauvinism or a male chauvinism was the the macho culture, right? Like a woman has to get married, <laughs> a woman has to be at home, right? So it, it sounds like like um probably like a little bit of a chauvinist, but it's just fine, you know. I love these DVA guides. That is just amazing. I love that you share your ideas and your experiences. Let's go with the last topic we got. Yes. And uh, because it's very similar. So it's like people should travel instead of celebrating weddings. Who is in agreement? Who agrees with the last topic? I and tell us okay. why. Uh -huh. Teacher, I have to say my role is to be in favor, okay. but right now I'm not agree with my argument. No, I, why? Have, <laughs> okay. I just have to say the uh, arguments in favor, but it's not um, agree with all arguments. Mm -hmm. okay. it's because it's homework. Okay, okay, but what is your personal opinion on this? Yeah, <laughs> think that is uh, is it like necessary? Said, no, uh, celebrating weddings is a party for the guests, and it's not for to to join the, the, the couple. The couple is worried to all kind of. Or preparations. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, but my <clears throat> argument in favor is that people should be getting married mm -hmm. because it's one moment that every couple should live once in the life. Okay. Because uh, I think that the man is um, when look his future wife walking. Uh, towards him is a special moment. Okay. It's a special okay. when the wife choose his dress, when is when she's uh, choosing all kind of um, I don't know how to say uh, garment. Uh, yes, and the uh, I think that each other enjoy um his role okay okay so uh, but, but personally you don't agree with that <laughs> it's very personal teacher you know why because i'm i'm in preparations to get married but uh, now <laughs> right now <laughs> my, my that's right <laughs> <laughs> my my mind in my mind is stressful. <laughs> so you're in, oh. in the preparation of your wedding, but now yes, yes, you're okay. like, you know what? Let's not get married. Let's travel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a better idea. You can change your decision. <laughs> you're on time you are like one or two months away from it <laughs> yes. so you can still make up your mind <laughs> that's really interesting that. 
Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Boys, what do you think about this? Uh, is it necessary to make like a <clears throat> wedding or would you prefer to travel with your couple? <clears throat> I will prefer to travel and spend my money and oh, many trips. Okay, instead of a celebration. That's not necessary. Okay, makes sense. Anybody else? I'm in favor to to travel too. Okay, why? I I told to to my mates that it's better to me waste my money traveling that waste my money in the celebrating wedding so um many mates say that it's just to reduce the cost reduce the, the number of the the guests and it's done in the honeymoon uh, we will to travel oh okay but i i say that i prefer to travel eight days than three days of the honeymoon oh all right oh yeah i remember so yeah that's right i remember you had this argument that it was okay for example to buy a second hand dress and yes. to, in, to reduce cost. <laughs> reduce the cost if you uh -huh. want to celebrate the wedding. Yeah. But, I but have like, an argument too, like this. Oh, like tell that. us. Uh -huh. You can get married in low cost if you find got parents. Oh, having got parents Ooh. for everything. <laughs> For the yes. cake, for the ceremony, for the party, for the DJ. Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh -huh. Wow. Okay, that's a good point. Anybody else wants to add something here with the last topic? Anybody? I prefer both. Oh, really? Why? Get married and travel. <laughs> okay. But it's expensive. No, I mean... I mean, the thing is that getting married, uh, it, it's just fine. The, the thing here is the, the celebration. So celebrating the wedding, right? So after the ceremony, normally there is a reception. So, and, and we tend to spend like a lot of money on the reception because we have both families, probably some drinks, food, cake, everything. Low you know? cost. Low a cost. Low cost celebration. For example, Pupusas for everybody. Oh, <laughs> pollo campero for everybody. Pollo campero for everybody and tacos. No, pollo yeah. campero is expensive now. <laughs> don pollo. Okay. Oh, don pollo, some tortillas and that's it. <laughs> oh, but that's a nice one. So low cost wedding, okay? And, and then you can travel. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Guys, that was just amazing. I know there are some people we couldn't listen to. But I'm sure that in the groups, you also gave your opinions. I love it. Everybody was like paying attention to everybody. Even I heard Enrique and Sofia, you know, ready for a fight. <laughs> Just kidding, guys. No, it was amazing. That was really cool. Thank you for that. Now, there is like a little um, topic from unit number four that we are going to be checking. This refers to the tenses. So let's go ahead really quick. And we are going to check this. We are not going to watch the video because I'm sure that you have seen the video already. And the video is just the explanation of present, past, and future. So I prefer that we go for this quickly and then we just practice. Um, just a little refresher here. There are some expressions that we can use. Uh, for example, if we are talking about yesterday, about some events in the past, we can use, for example, uh, the word ago, right? We can use in the past. We can use uh, the specific year. We can use the word century, or we can use like, well, in this case, it's 19th century. So we can say the specific time. Any other expression that we can use in past? Three years ago. Years ago, very specific one. time, okay. Any other? Some time ago. 
some time ago, all right, I got a question, guys. How can I say antier? Because we don't really have the word. So how can I talk, for example, about uh, what? About uh, Sunday. Before, before yesterday. Before. Very nice. There we go. Yeah, so day before, the day before yesterday, you can say last. So we can use also ago or we can use last, right? Um, for present tenses, normally when we are talking about now, we can use like these days, today, nowadays. So because we are emphasizing present times, this year. And I have a question. How can I say actualmente? Actually, correctly. Mm, there correctly. we go. There is a little a uh, confusion sometimes between currently and uh, uh, actually. What is the difference? Can you help me? Actually, it's like you say, um, a decir verdad también. Oh, there we go. Exactly. So when we are talking about present times, uh, if I want to talk about the present, so, um, and I want to say actualmente, you know, I'm talking about everything that's going on. I'm going to use the word currently, all right? Currently, wait, there we go. So currently, uh, currently I am studying. Currently I'm working. Currently I'm at home. I'm learning English. So if I'm talking about present times, I am not going to use actually because actually no significa actualmente. Actually means, or we are going to use actually to clarify, to give extra information. So imagine that I say, I don't, um, I don't agree with marriage. Actually, I don't want to get married. So actually doesn't mean actualmente, but it means de hecho, right? Or in realidad. So I want to emphasize, I want to clarify, or I want to add here extra information. Sir. Mm -hmm. Sir. So add information, yes. But you can say all the way, uh, you can say to, uh, in fact, in fact. Uh, yes, um, uh, one synonym of actually, yeah, that could be in fact. Of course, in fact is stronger because in fact you are making a lot of emphasis mm -hmm. and actually it's a little bit soft, let's say, but yes, actually can be a synonym or in fact, and currently is a synonym. So this is more similar to now. That is the biggest mm -hmm. difference, all right? So just be careful because normally we tend to confuse them. Now, in the future, what am I going to use for future? Imagine I ask you guys, what will you do tomorrow? Where are you going on your next vacation? So the, some of the words I can use are soon, um, like just in one year, in five years, in 10 years. So you can also mention the time in the future. Um, if we can use next, right? So that is like very common. And we are going to practice um, the following questions I have for you. So, da, 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 da. I want you to take this into account because we are going to present this tomorrow, guys. Look at this. We have three questions here. The first one says, what was the last really difficult thing you had to do? Um, this is going to be your homework for tomorrow because you will need to think. So you need to not maybe not memorize your answer, but you need to think about the answer. So what was the last uh, difficult thing you had to do? If you pay attention, everything is about the past, right? What are your future goals? Everything is future. I will, I am going to in five years, in 10 years. So I'm going to use future for this. And the last one says, do you have any bad habit? So present, what do you do every day? Obviously, because this is present, you can use I always, I never, sometimes, every week, et cetera. So every question is different. Every question needs or ask you to use uh, one specific um, grammatical structure. So mm -hmm. guys, let's do this. For tomorrow, I want you to select 
only one question, but the question that you think is more difficult for you. For example, if you think that simple past is more difficult for you, please select number the first one, right? That is simple past. If you think that talking about the future is more difficult, select the one that you consider is more difficult, not the easiest. I did but have it. This is easy. <laughs> so select the one that is more difficult because that is going to be your challenge, all right? Um, you don't need to write it. You don't need to send an audio, but just uh, if you have time during the day, you can write it so you have some ideas, but we are going to share this in the group, right? I'm just giving you this homework because you need to think before uh, we practice this, right? So guys, um, any question? Are we okay with this? No question. No question, yes, all right. We're okay. Uh, perfect, amazing participation, guys. Thank you so much for this. Get ready with one of these questions and I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Have a good night. Thank and guys, you, can you get a difficult you. task with the platform? Bye, no se les Thank you. Bye guys. Bye. Bye. See you. Bye. Um, <laughs> oh, what's going on?